Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. We have made it to the end of the week and Halloween weekend, so I hope you all have a safe and happy Halloween. This morning, we're going to be covering exciting stock market news, some big names with notable earnings reports, and we'll take a look at the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well so you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. All right, let's jump right into this morning's exciting stock market news. It does look like we're ending the week with U.S. stock futures in the red. Currently, Dow futures are down 0.18%, S&P 500 futures are down 0.5%, while Nasdaq futures are down 0.84%. The biggest news in headlines last night is that the company Facebook will be going by a new name. It will now be called Meta. Mark Zuckerberg said that the company is going all in on their vision for the metaverse. He pitched his optimistic goals for the metaverse, a successor to the mobile internet where users interact, play games, and shop in always-on virtual worlds. It will be powered by augmented reality and virtual reality and will integrate aspects of the existing or 2D internet and the real world. The company will begin trading as Meta under the ticker MVRS starting on December 1st. The Facebook or Meta stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of nearly 28%. Shares of Zendesk are sliding in the pre-market this morning after the company announced that they had reached a deal to acquire Momentum Global, the parent company of SurveyMonkey. The deal is set to be worth about $4.1 billion. With Momentum, Zendesk will create what businesses really need, a customer intelligence company that connects what customers say and do with how they think and feel. Zendesk said it expects the merger to boost earnings in its first full operating year and accelerate Zendesk's revenue plan to $3.5 billion in 2024, one year ahead of its previous target. Following the big price decline, Zendesk is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 37% while Momentum Global is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 15%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the pre-market this morning, we're waiting to hear from some companies like Exxon, AbbVie, Hexo, and Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. Yesterday, we heard from Amazon, who reported worse than expected results for their third quarter and lower than expected guidance for their fourth quarter. The miss was primarily due to weaker than expected North American e-commerce sales growth as a result of the pandemic. Disappointingly, adjusted earnings of $6.12 per share declined 51% year-over-year and fell far short of analyst expectations of $8.92. Furthermore, their net sales rose 15% to $110.8 billion, but failed to meet the consensus estimates of $111.6 billion. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 20%. Also reporting was Apple, who came in with lower than expected revenues for their fourth quarter. They were impacted by supply constraints due to chip shortages and COVID-19 to some extent. Their quarterly revenues of $83.4 billion missed analyst expectations of $84.85, but they did jump 29% year-over-year. Apple posted earnings per share of $1.24, which was in line with the street's estimates. Notably, their services and Mac revenue reached new all-time highs during the quarter. Their stock is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 11.5%. On a more positive note, shares of Overstock.com rocketed 20% after the company delivered stellar third quarter results. Their earnings grew 26% year-over-year to $0.63 cents per share, meaningfully outpacing the street's estimates of $0.47. Cents. Their total net revenue did decline 4% compared to the prior year quarter to $689.3 million, but did also surpass analyst estimates of $682.83 million. With just three analyst ratings, the stock is rated a strong buy with an average upside of 29%. Just this morning, we heard from Chevron, who posted their highest profit in eight years. 
This was thanks to surging oil and gas prices and a recovery in motor fuel demand that boosted refining margins. The company reported earnings of $6.1 billion, compared with a loss of $207 million per share. Their adjusted earnings per share came in at $2.96 per share, compared to $0.18 per share last year. Their stock is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 11%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are United States Steel after they announced a $300 million stock repurchase program and an increase to their dividend. Trading under the ticker X, they're currently up 8.4%. They're followed by the recently public IonQ stock under the ticker IONQ, now up 8.6%, so sorry, slightly higher than the United States deal. And we also have Argenx under ARGX, up 8.5% following their third quarter earnings. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Zendesk, who we mentioned earlier are down after the news that they'll be buying Momentum Global. Under the ticker ZEN, they're currently down 18%. They're followed by Amoresco under the ticker AMRC. Their stock is down over 13%. It appears that they're just cooling off after it rose earlier in the week following signing a contract for a battery energy storage system. And lastly, we have Western Digital under WDC. Their stock is down over 11% following their earnings report despite having a solid Q1 beat. So that's going to be everything for Friday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. Let me know what you're dressing up for as Halloween. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you back here next time.